In 2014, 40% of Indigenous people in Canada reported being the victim of physical and or sexual abuse as a child, as compared to 29% of non-Indigenous people. Almost one-third, 29% of Indigenous youth in the Champlain region reported having been, been mentally or emotionally abused in the last year. One in 10, 11% reported they were a victim of family violence, and 8% reported they were a victim of a traumatic event. Physical and sexual assault. The rate of sexual assault among those who identified as indigenous was three times higher than non-indigenous. One in five, 22%, young indigenous women in Canada self-reported sexual assault in the previous 12 months. Food insecurity. In 2012, almost one in five, 18%, indigenous people aged six years and older living off reserve in Ontario reported low or very low food security. Stigma. Indigenous youth in the Champlain region reported that some youth are hesitant to use services due to the stigma attached to mental health problems. Discrimination. Over half of indigenous youth surveyed in the Champlain region reported they had been discriminated against or put down because they are indigenous. Racism and disrespect were the main reasons youth hesitated to access services. Given the noted data limitations, this info only represents a partial picture of the indicators of mental well-being reported by Indigenous peoples. Further access to timely, quality, and relevant local data would support an evidence-informed approach to mental health programming. Policies and culturally based care for Indigenous peoples in Ottawa as recommended in Now, 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 Mental Wellness for Indigenous Youth in the Champlain Region. All right, so now we're at the conclusion. The status of mental health in Ottawa report supports OPH's strategic direction to foster mental health in our community and the continued need to promote mental health of all residents and to build a, a resilient community. The PHAC Positive mental health. So they just threw the indigenous mental health at the end? Oh, boy. Wow. Anyway, the, the PHAC, Positive Mental Health Surveillance Conceptual Framework, has provided a structure to understand the complex and integrated nature of the determinants of mental health across the individual, family, community, and society domains in Ottawa. Overall, the mental health outcomes demonstrate that Ottawa residents report very good or excellent mental health. Sorry, I'm re- as I'm reading this, I'm thinking about how they just threw that at the end. I mean, come on. The report has identified residents who are at higher risk of developing poor mental health due to social and economic inequities, stigma, and discrimination. Building on the findings of this report, there's an opportunity to enhance mental health promotion, policies, and programs and service delivery planning. OPH is committed to working together to contribute to these actions in order to improve the mental health and well-being of auto residents.